because the mini bags in this day and age are hype because no one carries stuff anymore. I don't know how you could make this like a shoulder bag. I was very much drawn to like the print. Just adds like a different flavor to the bag. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Jess. So today I wanted to talk about the mini Gypsy Air bag that's apparently coming out this year. The Hermes Autumn Winter uh, Runway Show. It was first spotted on the Mark One Race Show. So I'm sure because it's a mini bag, it could be hype. So if you love shopping handbag videos, guys, please like and subscribe to my channel. I would super appreciate it. A few years ago, the Mini Lindy uh, was released and that was a super successful bag. And you know, the Lindy 26, uh, the Lindy 30, They've always been popular bags, but I feel like they kind of uh, became even more popular when they released the Mini Lindy. I feel like the spotlight on the Lindy was shone a little bit more. And I, I bought a Lindy recently and I love it. I see the appeal. Now this year that they're doing the uh, Mini Gypsy Air, I wanted to show you guys uh, my Gypsy Air and what is annoying about it and whether it is worth um, considering getting the um, new Mini Gypsy Air. I bought my Gypsy Air from uh, Luke's at Forward, which is an Australian consignment store. For honestly, it was a, it was a really good deal. Um, this bag, I think, could be from like around 2011, around like that era. So I, I'm going to say like it's not a new bag, but I was drawn to the um, color, which is like an apple green color, and it's in Swift. And I ended up getting it for a really amazing deal, like under 4,000 Australian dollars. Um, now the mini one, uh, from what I can see, the differences is obviously the size. This is the 28 size. So the mini one looks a lot smaller. And I will say that the proportion of the hardware compared to the bag looks quite cute because it still has this really chunky hardware to it. Um, and it has a strap on it that is canvas which is very interesting it looks like the the strap is not detachable which is annoying similar to the mini lindy the strap is not detachable it's just stuck on one length so i'm curious to see if this drop will be suitable for most people if it will be too short or too long because what's annoying sometimes even with the mini evelyn bag so something like this um, a lot of people find the strap too long, but it's okay because it's, it's removable and you can kind of knot the strap or add your own strap. But with um, the mini Gypsy Air, if the strap length is not right, drop my bag. If the strap length is not right, then I feel like that would be a deal breaker for most people. And I don't know how you would be able to manipulate this strap to make it like a shoulder bag. I know with the mini Lindy, if you watch uh, Clara Zeela, um, I'll link her video below. She can show you how to wear a mini Lindy on your shoulder. So anyways, I know this video is not about mini Lindy, but I, I, I feel like sometimes that you can get around there being a non-detachable strap, but with this, Apart from putting a knot in it, I don't know how you could make this like a shoulder bag. It's probably going to be exclusively a crossbody. Um, now, with the Gypsy Air bag, guys, I'm just going to show you the opening and closing because you basically have this like little twist mechanism in the middle, which is very similar to like a, a Kelly or a Birkin. And then you un latch it from these prongs here i know in like the hac bag this is like completely closed off and you have to like slide it out but this that you, you just take it out like that um and then there's a flap like that and the flap is very long and i think the flap is long literally to cover like this ugly part here because i find that the structure of the bag makes it quite saggy underneath and it reveals this like weird slouching so i like how this is long because it kind of covers out up that ugly area um and then if you go inside the bag um well this one is fully leather lined it's very interesting I'll, I'll i'll be curious to see what sort of pockets they put on the inside because this bag is from the um you know uh i yeah i'm pretty sure it's like 2011 or something i don't know guys but you can see that they've added like a very mini phone pocket in here which is probably for like you know nokia phones or like really small phones and there's a pocket here um oh care instructions um and then there's a zip pocket here as well which i never use i wonder if there's anything in there compartments i'm not sure if with the mini one they'll have as many compartments and you've got this um detachable strap so the strap that i have here um it's pretty substantial it's a full leather strap that is uh fully adjustable 
and I sometimes wear it with this strap but I also have another Hermes strap which I like to use uh, this I initially bought for my mini Evelyn but I actually wear it more on my gypsy air it's not the right color hardware but it does go really well the colors and I really like this bag because you could really that the detachable strap makes it so much more versatile so I had a few of you guys say I should um like for one of my bags this year I should get the mini gypsy air because I have the gypsy air 28 and I really love it but honestly I would say like this is just from my I'm very stingy guys like I would say from my thrifty perspective I would honestly get although the mini one is like really cute I think that the a pre-loved gypsy air 28 is a better buy because it's gonna be more practical you can fit more detachable strap and the pricing is probably going to be less than the mini one because for some reason I found this with like the Lindy 26 as well. The Lindy 26 on the pre-love market sells for less than a mini Lindy because the mini bags in this day and age are hype because no one carries stuff anymore. Everyone has like little phones and all their like they don't no people don't carry anything anymore. I still carry things. I don't know why guys I like to carry like little toys and random crap, a lot of makeup in my bag. So for me I find I tend to gravitate more towards like these small size bags um, and I'm sure that if you opted for like an even bigger gypsy air you could get an even better deal. Um, now I will say in terms of leather choices when you're looking for a gypsy air I would I would probably recommend Swift which is not everyone's first choice just because of the weight. It's a very lightweight bag and I've heard people say that they've got the gypsy air and Clement and they find it quite heavy and that's because there is actually like this is fully leather lined. Um, it has the compartments and Clement's leather tends to be a lot more weighty than Swift. So I would say for me, this bag is super comfortable because it isn't Swift. I really think this they would have, this would have been worth buying if maybe they made it a detachable strap and also they added like feet to the bottom because I think that would kind of be cute, like a little like shoulder, like a little Birkin kind of vibe because I feel like like in this size it gives it more of a like a casual messenger bag look but in the mini size it has like a different kind of allure to it similar to like the mini lindy and the lindy 26 to me they're like completely different vibes so in the mini gypsy air i honestly do feel like if you love the look of this you're not necessarily gonna love the look of this size because it just is so much more of like a novelty piece and it's like a new hot bag so I totally understand why you would go for the mini one but for me in terms of like being thrifty I would totally go for a pre-loved bigger size because it's just probably more versatile and way cheaper but you know also um I actually picked up um this gorgeous scarf on eBay um yes I bought another scarf um for about 200 ish dollars i think i have to double check but i was very much drawn to like the print it's got all these perfume bottles all over it let's show you guys like it's a really pretty color it's pretty loved but it was uh like i think in the store now the these scarves these 90 by 90 scarves are 750 australian dollars and i just i wanted actually one to try and tie as a like a sh like a shoulder carry thing with my gypsy air so I'm going to see what that looks like as a shoulder bag as well absolutely love like honestly guys if you love Hermes scarves there's so many vintage ones you can find I don't know what year this one is from but I just love like the details of the pink and in this beautiful blue color um and all the perfume bottles on it look gorgeous and I don't know if I wanted to like twist up like a $750 scarf so that's why I got a cheaper one but honestly this scarf is adorable and I just think that this bag looks so cute with this scarf. What do you think, guys? Is this too much? Maybe it is with the little horse, but I don't know. I just think it's really cute. Is it like you can make it a top handle bag or like a little shoulder bag is quite cute. Um, and it just adds like a different flavor to the bag and it just I don't know I think it looks quite nice so I like how with the bigger one you can get a little bit more creative but if you do love the mini one I mean and you get offered it I would still buy it because as I said it's probably not like if you regret it you can probably still honestly just sell it and get your money back on it or you know I, I feel like it is a really cute bag the only problem is the opening and closing and the lack of being able to attach the strap is might be a hindrance so let me know guys do you love the mini gypsy air or i, I do you think it's not worth buying and thanks for listening to me um talk about handbags today and i'll talk to you on my next one bye
Bye.